Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to talk about Party Hard, Die Young, which is a Shudder exclusive film, which was also uh, dubbed in English, very obviously. The story is about a bunch of friends who recently just finished school. They are going to this party island in Croatia just to cut loose, hang out before the next steps in their educational journeys, professional journeys, next parts of their lives. And uh, they're all really, really close friends. They all have plans with each other afterwards. Some of them have changed their plans and not really made the others aware, which is kind of terrible, especially if you've already agreed on maybe getting a housing situation put together with a bunch of people. If one person flakes out, it does kind of screw everyone else. So it's understandable when uh, Julia changes her mind, I think it was Julia, that she's not going to be going the same place as I think it was Jessica. She got real pissed and they're parting it up. Of course, Jessica or Jennifer, there's a lot of names in this. Just, it's fine. She, you know, isn't feeling super well, leaves the party, goes outside. Someone observes, you know, a strange dude or figure walking towards her. That was the last they saw of her. So this is one of those movies where, you know, bit by bit, people keep going missing and they keep finding the person's cell phone and there's a weird picture on it and they're scratched out. And there's just, you know, that kind of like who done it scenario here. In Croatia, they're all partying. What? You know, lots of techno, lots of murder. It's a good time. So, I'm going to leave it off here as it is spoiler free. This is not typically a movie I would choose to watch by my own tastes. I thought, you know, just flipping through Shutter trying to find out what piqued my interest. And this popped up and, uh, yeah, I watched it. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the slasher genre in particular. I don't mind it. It's just not really my go-to. My go-to is like the really, you know, the zombie stuff, the stuff that's toted as extremely gory or extremely hard to watch. Like, that's my jam. I'm, I'm going to gravitate towards that more so than I would a slasher, not saying that slasher is not a fun genre. It's the groom's favorite genre within horror, I believe. Um, what did I like about this movie? I felt like the dispatch methods were pretty interesting and they were very satisfying as you watch them all the way through. There isn't a ton of gore in this movie, but it isn't as if the slasher is looking to get all the kids partying at this place. He's just targeting a specific group, their gang, for a particular reason, which we find out way at the end. And uh, he or she, I should say, the slasher. Um, I felt like the... The main character that they really focus on, her name is Julia, and I felt like she made really smart decisions. She wasn't that person that, like, if a killer pops through the front door, she's going to run upstairs right away, which is cool. Um, I, I thought that I sympathized. I, I feel like I sympathized with her character more because she was making, you know, very smart moves. She was trying to keep herself safe. She was trying to keep her friends safe. And she was really the only one that seemed to be bothered by people disappearing, especially when she would get responses via text, particularly from this one girl that was like, oh, I'm with this dude here, you know, I have a lot of condoms. And she's like, no, that doesn't sound right because the this chick's a virgin. Keep that under your hat. But like, that's not her. That's not something she would respond back. So I like that she wasn't just like, oh, okay, let's go party. Like she, you know, she's a she acted like a real person would act. Hopefully. Like, hopefully you surround yourself with those kinds of friends that aren't just like, oh, cool, she has condoms. I mean, you should. Be safe. But, like, besides the point. Um, I'm gonna go to my dislikes. Like I said, the dubbing, not great. I would have preferred to watch this subtitled. 
because it just the the dub version of anything rarely seems to live up to how it really should be and I'd rather just read it. I'd love to see this movie just subtitled. No dubbing. And some of the dubbed voices were very strange. Like they seemed to be a parody of what the person was. Like if it was like the stereotypical ditzy blonde girl, like they just cranked that up to 11 and it was just cringe. Just so much cringe. Um, I thought the pacing was a little off. I feel like the ending was a bit convoluted, <clears throat> especially since the, the reasoning for all this happening, there seemed to be a large gap in between when it happened and what is happening currently. You will understand if you watch the movie, but I felt like it was kind of like, why now? Just, why? I don't know. It seemed like maybe the person writing the movie had so many good ideas leading up to the end and was just kind of like, oh, crap, what do we do? We'll just throw this all together and it'll be fine. Um, yeah, it was okay. Um, I don't think I would watch this version again just because the dubbing like really, really took me out of it. The movie itself isn't terrible. I didn't like the way it was kind of thrown together at like the very, very end of the climax, the action, like, oh, that's why? Anyway. I mean, still the, the ending was pretty satisfying. I did enjoy, you know, how gritty and how gross and how dark this movie is. And another thing, a bonus like, I will say, just because I am visually impaired, it is hard, like I've said in many other reviews, to see um, any of the action shots if they're done at night. I feel like it was easier for me to kind of follow along just because there is this raging party in the background. There's a lot of use of neon, which helped a lot to actually see what was going on without having it like lit like it's daylight. So I really appreciated that. Good job. Probably not intentional, but I liked it. Um, I would probably give this movie like a two out of five. It wasn't terrible. Like I said, I, I was appreciative of the common sense that at least one of the characters used in this. Um, yeah, found it on Shudder. If you have Shudder, check it out. I don't know if it's available on any other streaming platforms thus far as it is a Shudder exclusive, but have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Leave me your comments down below. I'd love to read them. Do you have any other recommendations on Shudder? I'm kind of like, going through each one. Like I said, I wouldn't typically watch a slasher movie willy-nilly, but I'm running out. I'm running out of options. Let me know uh, any good picks down below. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell for further uploads and live streams. You can like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you like neon, because it is a soothing thing to have around. I don't have any neon around here. I have an Elvis sign somewhere. I don't know. Um, if you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. I'm usually not this disjointed, but you know, it's allergy season and um, I have like three different kinds of allergy medications in me right now. So that's my excuse. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. It's a Shutter exclusive, of course, on Shutter, which if you aren't aware is an, is an app through Amazon Prime, I'm sure other hmm.